everyone this is asm arif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to manipulate photo and how to change the background and uh, you can change your background your photo background in a sunset effect uh, it's said too much easy and i'll show you how to do that okay let's go go to the file then open and just choose your photo <coughs> after that at first I'll select this subject and before that I'll just make a copy by pressing ctrl J and just I'll go to the pen tool and select the model okay I'm going forward okay i selected uh, all the area and then i'll go to the make selection and the pixels zero and hit okay after that i'll do the refine edge and for that i'll go to the select and select and mask uh, before that please press and hold the shift key okay and then I need, I'll increase the brush size by pressing the third bracket opening closing okay and I'll just do the masking okay, refine edge uh, this is the oldest technique to just cut your image okay then Okay, making it smooth then feather no need to give feather actually contrast okay and then new layer with the layer mask hit okay my background gone then I'll just do uh, work with it okay why I have done two layers okay then I am turning off this layer and press control button and press this white portion and it will select and then I'll select this layer after that I'll go to the select and modify and press the expand and I'll give that 30 pixel for expandition okay then I'll go to the edit and fill and then content error hit okay okay what I have done I have just make the background separate and then the subject is separate and here is some uh, dots or something and I'll remove it uh, with the spot healing brush tool by the help of spot healing brush tool just drag over there it will take automatically and uh, select the content you are must otherwise it won't work okay then I am just okay after that I'll go to the new layer and I'll fill this one by the color with the ash color okay press control alter delete and then this layer and mask this layer and go to the gradient and just delete the gradient okay one thing you have to make this color like ash color c3 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 is good and okay and just i'm just selecting deleting this one okay and in uh, above this layer i'll just Go to the file and place embedded i'll add the sunset like that sunset color i'll replace over there and then i'll turn on the subject 
okay our basic theme is ready and after that I will just make a group of these two layer and make it merge I'll turning it off making merge so control alt shift E and after that I'll turn on all the layers and I'll select this layer only the background and I'll go to the filter and then the blur gallery <coughs> tile shifter tile shift I'll go to the tile shift and just I'll make blurry sky more blurry like that and hit ok after doing that I'll go to the level and then I'll just adjust the level with the color ok hit ok and after that uh, one thing is that uh, just uh, the one thing is that the light is in the back side of the model and uh, we should be or the model should be uh, in the font be darker that's why I'm just making this layer a copy by pressing ctrl J and just pressing here the apply layer mask apply layer mask and this one is the with the layer with the layer ma without layer mask and make it overlay and go to the edit then fill and then go to the 50 percent gray options okay press the d button for just reset the foreground background color and go to the dodge burn option the dodge tool and the burn tool burn tool is for the shadow that means the dark one like that okay I'm just making some shadow with that it it will be more natural for your picture and here is slightly okay then I'll go to the dodge option and just I'll dodge the selected area the face like that okay and I'll go to the barn again and just making the lips darker and I'll go to the dodge option and go to the white portion of the eyes and make it white and the eyeball also okay then go to the burn option make the brush size smaller or bigger okay okay that's good uh, what was our previous image let's see this one is our previous image and now this one okay after that I am just making the group all the layers by pressing ctrl G and merge these layers uh, by pressing ctrl shift alter G and I will go to the filter then camera raw filter <coughs> going camera raw filter what I'll do I'll do the basic color correction and I'll reduce the highlight give some shadow little bit uh, reduce the blacks increase the exposure and give some contrast go to the effects and give some effects from the site and then go to the camera calibration make it slightly again okay that's good and then I'll go to the amount of sharpness and then I'll reduce the noise okay and then go to the hue saturation and luminance option <coughs> and here I will go to the saturation luminance red decrease the red luminance decrease the green luminance decrease the yellow and I'll reduce the saturation of blue okay then add some orange color saturation I'll just a little bit decrease red okay and and hit okay okay this one is our previous and the present one and the first one like that 
after that I'll go to the field uh, uh, I'll go to the color lookup option and give the horror blue color and make it okay, that's that okay after that make group by pressing ctrl G and ctrl shift alter E for merge and filter then google nick collection color effects pro I'll add some color effects from the color effects pro and you know that the google nick collection is totally free from the google and you can go to the google nick collection if you want to search it in a google uh, just write down google nick collection then you'll get it okay here is the I'm just selected the cross processing cross processing and it's loading okay from the cross processing filter I'll just select the filter from here filter panel here more I'm using filters and I'll select this filter and hit OK okay mm. make group and make it merge and make a copy of this layer and make it the vivid light and after that go to the filter then other than the high pass for increasing the sharpness I'll do that make it 4 2 2 is good and hit ok more sharper than the previous and make a group and make it merge okay this one is our previous image and uh, raw image actually and this one is the edited image today's tutorial is done thanks for watching my video tutorial and if you have any kind of query please do comment on my video description and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and till the next video bye bye